Hi boys and girls, buenas noches. I'm going to read you a storybook that is called Fire Station. No, sorry, it's called Corduroy Goes to the Fire Station. Based on the character created by Don... I cannot read his name. Don Riemann. Pictures by Lisa McHugh. Now let's begin the story. Today, Corduroy, Corduroy's class is visiting the fire station. The hook and ladder trunk is parked outside the ladders. Help the, f sorry, <laughs> it's parked outside the ladders. The ladders help the firefighters res rescue people on roofs or up in high buildings. The hooks pull down burning ceilings so the water hoses can reach the fire. And look, Corduroy, the bear right here, he's with his class on a field trip to a fire station. And look, there's a, there's a Dalmatian dog. And look at all this, is so cool. Look at that fire truck, amazing. And we see fire trucks every day. And we hear them. So you see one, you wave, hello, boys and girls, okay? You see a fire truck passing by, you say, hello, okay, wave by, or hi, okay? And they'll see you. The pumper and rescue trucks are in the garage. The pumper truck pumps water and carries the hoses. The hoses are very heavy when they are filled with water. So the firefighters have to be very strong. The rescue truck is filled with medical equipment that the firefighters might need if someone is hurt. Okay, so let me show you this. The first door is the equipment. So if someone gets hurt, they need probably like a little right aid bandage or something. And right here, they had all their equipments for the water, for everything that they need well, what the fire station needs. Here's all the equipments, boys and girls. This is all their equipments. And here is more. Here's this one. <laughs> and this one. So look, they have all the equipment, they have their, look, there's a hose, a water hose, so they can water the fire out. There's a kit right there, a kit for bandages, all their equipment, and the truck. Fireman Jack leads the class upstairs to the kitchen, bunk room, and exercise room. Mmm, today a fireman is making spaghetti. So... Here's a monkey at the workout room. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little room to rest, but it's also a workout room. So they, go. so firefighters should be strong and clean to clean the room. Here, like the kids are entering the room where they, where they relax. This is the room where the firefighters come and relax and do the workout and cook, just like this alligator or crocodile is cooking a delicious spaghetti and there's two firefighters who are playing cards and there's one who is reading a book and another who is who is actually doing his exercise <laughs> so they go in there for a break fireman jack tells the class never to play with fire or matches if their clothes ever do catch on fire he tells them don't run Stop, drop, and roll. That will help put out the flames. The class practices good rolling corduroy. So corduroy is rolling. So it's drop and roll. Drop and roll. So you can hear this thing. This is what they're doing. You see the dog about to enter. You see this calendar right here. 
And let's see what is this, what's happening right here. And there's a window. And then look. Here are the rules. Safety tips. You gotta drop and roll. Sorry, stop, drop and roll. You gotta stop, drop and roll. So what do you do when it's a fire coming out? You gotta stop, drop, and roll. If it's about to hit. If it does hit, you have to run outside. Try to go outside for safety, okay? But I think it's such a bit wrong. I don't know about that. I don't know. He shows them the special clothes firefighters wear. Everything is very heavy. It has to be to protect the firefighter from the fire, heat, and smoke. The firefighters keep their clothes downstairs near the fire truck. Ready to go. Everybody in the class gets a junior fireman's hat. So why do firefighters wear these clothes? And look, <laughs> a little student trying to wear the clothes. Well, this is their suit. <laughs> They're trying on the hat. And now it's, it's just for protection so the fire when I hit them. Oh, I'm the doggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, doggy. And probably, it's just, you need protection boys, it's very important. So when you're a firefighter, you need to wear what they're wearing, this. This is what they wear, and you need goggles, you need, like, these cover glasses. And watch this, and they go up, <laughs> and it's a bear. <laughs> it's a bear. And then, this is my favorite, let me show you what this door. Look at the dog. He's in there again. Ay, ay, ay. But they need his clothes because so the fire will not hit them. So, just for protection. You can wear your clothes under, but always wear this. When there's a fire going on, you gotta wear this suit, this uniform. Okay? That way the fire will not hit you. And also your hat and have goggles. Look at this guy, he's ready to go. He has his firefighter hat. He has the firefighter goggles or glasses. He has his gloves, the firefighter gloves, his boots, firefighter boots, and the firefighter uniform. He's ready to go. Downstairs, the firefighters are checking the trucks. They test the lights and sirens. Cover your ears, Corduroy. The class helps clean the headlights. Then the firefighters have a surprise. So we cover, why, do you, why do you say cover your ears? Because of this. When you hear a, a firefighter sound, like a horn, and you hear it very loud, cover your ears. Because when you hear that means it's an emergency. <laughs> I know there's a doggy again. So let's see what's in here. Look, uh, one of the students trying to drive the truck. And let's see, what does he have on that list? Look, he brought another list. So firefighters, what they need is protection. And they need a truck just to make sure that they are safe. I'm going to show you what's under, what's inside this. Look, his tools. They need their tools. You see, firefighters always come prepared because it's for safety, boys and girls. And everybody needs safety. If there's a fire going on in the buildings or at a park, you will, or if you hear a siren, a fire, Firefighter sirens, like a horn, you hear like a loud sirens. Those are firefighters. That's a truck. I mean the horns. That means there's an emergency happening. That something's going on. And here's the last one. Kodoro's class is going to ride a fire truck in a parade. Hey, that's awesome! Look, they're riding a fire truck on a parade. Now you make a good firefighter, Corduroy. Corduroy. Now it's cool. Let's see, and there's that doggy again. <laughs> Look, he's running. 
Yeah, doggy, so funny. Let's see what else. Let's see what the, what they have inside the fire truck. Let's see through the window. Let's see. Oh, there are kids that are waving hi. They're waving. We had the family. And let's see what we had to fight. Oh, someone is. Everybody's waving hi to the kids because there are now the firefighters. And they're on the parade. Because firefighters are also our heroes. And remember that, boys and girls. And that is the end of our story. Well, safety comes first. When there's a fire going on, you gotta stop, drop, and roll. Okay? But if it's really getting worse, try to try to go through a door. See an, an open space so the fire won't not get near you. If this is a well sorry. If there's an adult if if you have a, if there's an adult with you like your mom, your dad or your grandparents or your cousins they should be able to escort you out of the fire very quick before it starts to spread all over escort you out boys and girls okay just ignore the, the first thing i said okay just listen to this one if there's a fire going if there's a and you smell fire from the kitchen smoke go outside as fast as you can with your parents okay or your brothers and sisters Okay, boys and girls. That way you won't have to be inside the fire. Alright, and always call for the fire station. Okay, and they'll be there to save you. Okay, boys and girls. Alright. I bring them with. You know what? My buddies are here. Let me bring them out. Come on, little Leo. And come out, Tigger. We're gonna ask only three, no, probably, yeah, three questions. So why did the kids went to the fire station as a field trip? Why, so they could learn what firefighters do every day in their jobs. That is right. Corduroy was with his class, and it's better for the kids to learn what firefighters do. So, like, what do firefighters do? They stop the fire from spreading all over property. That is right. But so how do they stop the fire with what? With their water hose. Yes, a big water hose. If it's a big fire, you gotta stay out of the way, boys and girls, okay? Look for a safety place. Alright, with an adult. Yes, with your parents, your family. Okay, so another question is, what do we what what do we need, what do firefighters wear? They wear their uniforms. They wear a nice coat, their boots, their gloves, firefighter gloves, and their helmets. And also they wear goggles. Yes, they wear their firefighter uniforms. So they went so they would not get caught to the fire. And also they wear a a breathing mask. You mean a mask? They have to wear a mask? Yes, yeah, so they won't breathe the fire. Yes, an animal has to have oxygen tanks. Or something. That's right. You always need a breathing mask once you girls, okay? Yeah, that's true. So what if like another question? What if you start to smell fire in the kitchen? What do you do? You stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll like this. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. And one more question. Did the kids have a parade in Corduroy's class? Yes, they had a parade, and they were running on the fire fire truck. Yeah, they were running on the truck. Was a truck? How does, how does that truck sound? 
No. That sounds like. Nope. It sounds like. <laughs> I forgot it sounds. But Richard Gears have an example, boys and girls. It was very loud, boys and girls. Always cover your ears. Yes, because sometimes the sound, the siren of the fire for a truck is very loud. Yes, and our ears are very sensitive. Because it was so loud, God cover our ears. That's right. And firefighters are our heroes. Is that right? Tega and Leo? No real junior? Yes, that is correct. They are superheroes. They are mm, our sub adventure superheroes. Silly Tega. Okay, so one more question. What's the question? <laughs> Do firefighters were teaching the kids how they worked in the fire station? Yes. Have you seen that work? That room that they went in? Something when they are taking a break, they go into the room to rest. To work out an exercise so they can be healthy and strong. And to have a good time in their little break room. To read, to play cards, and to cook at some yummy lunch or snacks. And also to exercise. And what else do they carry like, in the truck? They carry their water hose, equipment, tools, a kit for like like bandages or like any water or something that is very safety. That is true. Well, and how do fire trucks look like? Some are yellow, some are green, some are red. And you hear one passing by, boys and girls, you wave hello, just wave hello. Wave hi and bye. And they will honk at you with their sirens of the firefighter sound. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Remember, you gotta be yourself. Go to a safe place with your with a, with your family or your friends, but also with your family, with your parents. Yes, in the same place. Stay away from fire, okay? If a fire starts to burst, then you can either drop, stop, drop and roll, or, and also go outside better. Just, and run away from that fire, okay? And you hear a sirens coming to your house? They are the firefighters. Good night, everybody. Sleep time, instead of trouble. And dream beautiful. Good night, boys girls. Good night. Oh, I wish I could be a firefighter. Me too. I'll dream of it. Good night, good night. Me too. Well, everybody has a dream. I become a superheroes. That's how I'm harm my dream. But it's better to stay safe. Stay away from dangerous things. Don't play with fire, boys and girls, okay? Very dangerous. And you see someone spreading water all over the fire. That is good because that way the fire will not spread all over places, okay? Alright? Stay safe, stay with your family. Don't go outside at night, very dangerous. Okay, boys and girls, good night, everybody. Love you all. Stay healthy, stay safe.